you so courageous Like lions out of them cages We so courageous Like King Kong in his rages We so courageous for nothing What's up? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zillionaire. If you're new to the freaking channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Man, there's some crazy stuff popping off, and a lot of stuff is coming out here in 2020, man. A lot of things are getting exposed, and a lot of people are getting exposed. Now, Mariah Carey's sister, Allison Carey, is exposing their mother. I guess their mother sacrificed them to the industry. Mariah Carey and, her, and, her, and, and her sister were sacrificed to the industry and I was wondering why what was wrong with Mariah Carey's sister and what was wrong with Mariah Carey I knew something was wrong I, I was trying to understand why my Mariah Carey was you know on drugs and you know all this drug abuse and alcohol abuse and her sister was on drugs and they abused drugs they're trying to suppress the horrific memories from what they witnessed when they were little girls now I'm gonna report I'm gonna I'm read what it's been reported in what Mariah Carey's sister has said in the court documents. Now, in the court documents, the 57-year-old claims her mother allowed men to engage in sexual acts with her when she was 10 years old and made her witness people engage in sexual acts with adults and children, according to the suit and sexual abuse occurring during the middle of the night, satanic worship meetings that included ritual sacrifices as a result of the above plaintiff has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and major depression, leading her to misuse both legal and illegal drugs in an attempt to suppress the horrific memories and to undergo extensive professional counseling the summer reads, according to the outlet, the ceremonies or rituals were always between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. It wasn't every night, but it was on specific times and specific dates. They said everyone was wearing long robes and black hoods. Man, let me tell you something, Mariah Carey's sister. I believe her. You know how you hear something, you're like, ah, that don't sound right. You know, some people you hear, you're like, I, I don't know about that. It don't sound right. Then you hear something, you just know it's the truth, and your spirit, your spirit confirms what the truth is. It's, 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 it's spiritual. The Bible tells you and confirms something in your spirit and lets you know this is the truth right here. You can discern the truth is what I'm trying to say. Everybody don't have that spiritual gift to discern from lies and from the truth. Some people don't have that discern. They can't distinguish between truth and lies. But when you're spiritually in tune with God Almighty, you can discern what is true and what is not. Christ said, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. It's a dark side to everything. And you got to understand, a lot of these parents sacrificed their children to the industry. Mariah Carey was sacrificed to the industry. By her mother. And I, I have to go live and talk about this. I have to go live and talk about this, man. But I'm just giving you a, a, a preview of what I'm going to start talking about um, in upcoming shows and stuff like that. Now, when people go through things and they get older as adults, that traumatic experiences is always playing in your head. Always playing in your head. I grew up on the streets of Philly. There's a lot of horrific things I've seen on the streets. There's a lot of things that I've been through. And it used to play in my head every day, and it still does now. The difference is now that I have God Almighty and that I have Christ in my life, those traumatic experiences don't bother me anymore. They're still there, but they don't bother me. You understand what I'm saying? I am healed from it. It's there, but I'm healed from it. A lot of people need healing from their past. And when you go through a lot of demonic things, not only are you damaged mentally, psychologically, and emotionally, your spirit is all messed up and corrupted and contaminated from what you've been through. So did the Mariah sisters, or the Carrie sisters, I'm sorry, these girls went through being sold to an industry. Being sold to the industry. Now, when Mariah Carey first came into the industry, she was very promiscuous sexually. A lot of rappers smashed her. 
You see her drunk and high and strung out and all messed up. And she was so messed up, even Mariah, uh, uh, Nick Cannon had to just separate from her. This is a woman who, who one of the highest selling females in the industry, had everything she wanted, success, fame, status, money, a husband, and this girl still was suffering emotionally, mentally, and spiritually from the abuse that they suffered as, as children. Their mother looks like, gives me a spirit, gives me like a witch spirit. I don't know, their mother just, just, I don't know, I look at their mother, just, I just, I, I just get a feeling of a witch. I'm just being honest. Like, I just get the spirit. I don't care how much a person smile in my face. I could discern your spirit. There's a lot of smiling demons out here. <laughs> There's a lot of demons that smile right in your face, and you could discern their spirit is evil. Their spirit is wicked. You could discern it. I don't care how much they smile. You could discern a person's spirit. I I'm talking about those who are spiritually in tune. I'm your boy Zillionaire. This is part one. Um, we, we, this, uh, this is going to be another whole another series I'm going to talk about. And it's a lot of adults who sacrifice their children to the industry. And that's a whole other topic, man. So a lot of these entertainers, not all of them, we understand not all of them. Because I have to say it because some people are stupid. Not all, not all. People are just stupid, man. We know not all. But a lot of them have been sacrificed to the industry. And a lot of them are messed up and, and traumatized. From being sacrificed as kids to a to the dark side or the demonic side of the entertainment industry. There's a dark and light side to everything. Understand it. This stuff is deep. Secret societies, occults, demonic rituals, sexual rituals, child sacrifice. This stuff is real. In the Old Testament, they used to worship the god Malek. And they used to sacrifice kids and do all kind of disgusting stuff also in Sodom and Gomorrah. This is nothing new. These demonic rituals go back to biblical times and ancient times. These are satanic rituals that have came through the centuries because the, when the devil came to the earth, he brought sin and he brought evil into the world. So these sacrifices and these demonic rituals, they have always been here. We're just living in a modern time of demonic rituals and demonic sacrifices and child sacrifices and stuff like that. I'm your boy Zillionaire. I'm going to pray for these Carrie sisters. And the daughter is suing the mother. She's suing the mom for the sexual abuse that she suffered as a child. And I, I believe this woman. I mean, she just, I, in my spirit, I just believe what she's saying, man. Because this stuff is real. And not only is she the only person, it's other people that came out that said they were, uh, it's a lot of young men. In Hollywood, they came out and said that, you know, they were they were trafficked and sold to different people in the entertainment industry for years while they were on set acting as child actors. They were being sold by their parents. This stuff is crazy, man. I'm out of here. Put your thoughts in the comments, man. Stay woke. Stay prayed up. Understand there's a light and dark side to everything. I just hope that you have the spirit of God and you have light in you. That you don't succumb to the darkness, that you don't turn to the dark side, because when you have the spirit of God, you have truth, you have his light, you have his power and you have power over everything that's evil. That's when you have Yeshua, when you have Christ in your life, you have power over these demonic forces. I'm your boy Z and I feel sorry for these because it's not their fault that they grew up and that they were sold and sacrificed to a demonic, to the dark side, a demonic side of the industry. They're not the only ones. It's a lot others. I'm out of here. Let me know what y'all think. Put your thoughts in the comments, man. Your boy Zillionaire is out of here, man. Straight like that. Get him. He's so courageous. Like lions out of them cages. He's so courageous. Like King Kong in his rages. He's so courageous. Like lions out of them cages. <laughs>